Welcome to yet another edition of Art of Arlo Moon. On today's episode, you saw the last one yesterday. Actually, I really considered... I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to do today. Um, and I kind of always want to get like the painting finished. Um, at the end of videos, you know? Like you're working on a video and you're working on the painting. And for some reason, I think... It doesn't seem right to let it go on farther than one day or whatever. Um, trying to find. I think I had some black left. I don't know what the stinking black is. This is white, I think. Or is it? I don't know. I always lose my black. I don't know what the deal is with that. <clears throat> I set it down somewhere. Here it is. All right. Um. But yeah, I uh. Like I said, I always want to finish the video, finish the uh, piece of art when I'm in the video, time lapse it till it's complete. And for some reason that sounds really good. And maybe most of the time it's going to happen. <clears throat> I'm going to issue today. It's, I just went outside. It's still like 15 degrees or something. Um, so, I don't know. I guess it's winter. Welcome to winter in Columbus, Ohio. Hey! Did, 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 did. But I thought maybe at least I would, uh, where are we at here? I would, uh, just make another video of the same piece because I didn't work on it really anymore. I uh, had a bunch of other things to do. I didn't even go move anything. So that's how freaking lame I am. Um, it's cold out, man. I don't want to do nothing. I have a time lane to do this stuff like really quick, like, and that's one problem with having off so much. I mean, I did do videos. I did do a lot of stuff still. Um, I did a video every day, and. Uh, which, if you don't have to work, maybe it's not so bad. Doing a video every day. It's still a regiment. Um, and, which, I, you know, it's not so bad. It wasn't that... That wasn't really the complexity of the week, really. Um, except for to figure out, okay, what am I going to make next? Or, um, you know, what are you going to paint or whatever. <clears throat> but I uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do in, like, personal life. It's uh, I have to move a bunch of stuff from my old studio... Um, which I've been saying I'm going to do this, and I have done a little bit of it here and there, chipped away at it very slowly. It's It's been moved around, it's been gone through now, and it's it's horrible, but it hasn't like two years, year and something, almost, almost two years. And it's just a matter of moving it all, which is not very fun. And uh, then I put it off for the whole year, basically, or a year and a half, or whatever. Each year I get to this time of the year, and I wanted to go move it, and it's like 15 degrees, it's cold. So, I have to do it really quickly, because there's a bunch of legal stuff I have to take care of, and that's got to be part of it. I have to have that moved. But, I uh, find a way not to do it every day, and today's Sunday. I do not feel like going out there and doing anything. In fact, I feel like just laying around the rest of the day. Um, I'm back to work, we're back to the hole tomorrow. And, uh, I mean, it's cool. I have some money coming in, but... Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd do an update video, or... Addition onto expression. The last one was express yourself, which I wish I could put the NWA in there. That would be awesome if I could uh, get that licensed or okay to use or whatever you would, you know. Because I would do that. Um, that would be just a really cool addition to the video. Yes, I know it's not really mine or whatever, but <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, uh, been fun this week really having the time off has really been nice like I said it's kind of a bad thing in a way because I get like into a little routine and uh, routine as my chair creaks um, you get into a routine so you kind of understand where you're at you know the energy about it you get used to it but this is the, that's the point of having the time off this week is because I gotta have a reset for the beginning of the year and it's cold anyway but and we'll go to slow a little bit slower so that's it's really nice. It's less money, but um, it's going to be really a, a lot of fun to get back to eight hours for at least a couple months or a month and something. At least, well, at least most of that time will be eight hours. So then you get really broke. So then you're like, oh man, okay, let's hope that there's some overtime. And then we're back to overtime again. And I mean, it's just a nice change to have the time off. So that's why I got. I was going to do a lot of stuff. I always plan the over plan. 
and then when you get time off it's just nice to relax and not have to do anything so you don't do anything I noticed this pattern too if you're seeking by the way here with the art patterns I always start on this side and go this way for some reason maybe because this is my right hand I don't know I noticed that more and more um, as we go we make more videos and more paintings I mean I made a thousand paintings but I didn't I never noticed that before after all this time and then I'm end up because I like to put like my finger down it's like a stability thing or something see here we go I end up doing that and I end up like tracking over what parts I already did so if I went like from here to left so I don't know even after doing it for years and years and years and years different art stuff very heavily in the last seven years um, this last year was a little slower it's gotten a little slower each year so I don't know what that means just getting old um, but I don't know it's been less less fascinating as it was at first not that I don't care about it at all it's just there's more like gun-ho at the beginning of the whole thing and it was um, it's still exhilarating but um, with less return as far as interest, you know, uh, at the beginning you're like, all right, anything is good. Um, and then you get shows and you have all these shows and any interest, which I'm not saying I don't like interest. Um, it drives it and keep doing more shows and keep on doing and at least I did. I mean, not everybody does this. A lot of the artists I know don't even do it. And yeah, they don't hustle on shows. They don't go out and have shows all the time. And, and then it drives you to make pieces of art, and you just keep making more stuff. And it, it's this whole thing is just kind of, it's like machine-like. I like that kind of, but it's I've slowed down. I mean, there was some, like, well, and I was like, well, I don't really know if I want to continue doing that forever. And my price range is really low, and I want to raise the prices just for principle. Um, on the other hand, it's like I told you in another video, some of you... Even though art is central to human beings, I think it's a it's a part of human beings. It's uh, and other animals might show artistic expression. I've talked about this before, but it does the tools and everything are more developed with humans, and so it's more like a centralized internal human thing. People that didn't consider themselves into art or even entertaining the possibility of, for whatever reason, their stereotypical impressions about what it was in society or what it meant or whatever and then I meet them and they start talking to me and and they've never considered buying a piece of art or owning a piece of art and then all of a sudden except for stuff maybe at Walmart or something they bought like a glass of Walmart and had a uh, piece of art on it you know hey cool but um, you know they just didn't never really consider themselves a person who would buy a piece of art it's it's a weird thing you know how people feel about things and then then they were like Oh, I, I really like your work, and I, you know, I could be a person that would own a piece of art, that bought a piece of art, an art patron. It's kind of a weird thing how that, that sounds strange, but this has happened so many times to me. Um, and that is actually something that continues to think to myself, well, if the prices are lower, um, I think you can argue whether I can command it that a larger price, I don't know. Um... I did for a while, it was up pretty good, but then if the prices are lower, basically everybody can approach that piece of art, they can all pretty much own it. Um, you know, so that's that's the thing, but then if you look at the comparison to other commodities, if you can call it a commodity, uh, you put gas in your car and it's like, that's where I'm at kind of now, it's like, yeah, I'll sell the piece for $40, I'm happy to sell it, don't get me wrong, it sounds, it sounds uh, callous. That's why I don't want to talk about really art sales. I mean, I talk about it, but not like the price ranges or whatever. Um, but on the other hand, it's like you go put piece, you know, you go put gas in your car or something. That's going to cost you like thirty dollars, and you're just like, boy. So what does that mean about the piece of art I spent all these hours working on? And that means it feels cheap, cheap a little bit to me, or demeaning at, at some level. Without it, the people actually being demeaning, they're not. Most of them aren't. I just said that one of the recent sales I had interaction with people man you know like sometimes I'm okay with that like talking about a price we can haggle a little bit but if it's already like 40 50 bucks and you, that's might seem a lot of money to somebody and it, I mean it's a good amount of money to me I actually put in my pocket um, but 
for a piece of art, it's it's really low. And if you're already that low anyway, and then somebody kind of tries to come in there and do like free market haggling with you, I don't know. It's there was one really worst, the worst example of all time. As at CS Gallery, and this guy comes in. It was like a Wednesday show, which I was often like, "Why are we doing a show on Wednesday?" But this is Daniel's idea. So there was like three people at the show, three artists, and they had like we had a table full of stuff. And there's this guy that comes in from. It's a black bistro uh, cafe or whatever. There's a place you eat there in Old Town East, but still there or what? Probably is. And it's like you know, a little hoity-toity, uppity kind of place. Where the, you wear your suit, nice stuff in there, and this guy has a suit on and stuff, you know. Going through this whole thing because I thought this, I saw the psychology stuff on holding pieces of art, or holding something when they were selling it. All right, it's already 11 minutes, but anyway, he's basically like, I'm like, yeah, 30 bucks for a big one, which was, you know, it's an abstract painting that was like larger than 16 by 20, and then, uh, you know, 20 for the others, 20 bucks for like 16 by 20 paintings. Um, I had a lot of them, so I'm like, whatever, you know, anybody who's interested at all in them, that's something. The guy's like two for 20. And I actually sold it to him for two for 20, because I'm such a slut that needs to sell something. Um, and, you know, obviously I can remember that. So, business guy with a suit on, you know? Uh, maybe I should have made it 100. I don't know. Sometimes you get a little bit upset about these things. Obviously, it still upsets me a little bit. Because, it's like, dude, the price is already low, you know? And it's a steal now. And here comes this guy. He's got to make a fucking deal. He's got to make it, you know, 22 for 20. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I'll try to haggle a little bit sometimes if the price is beyond what I can afford when I want something. But that just seems a little bit... It's really callous, actually. His wife even left because she, she probably knew what was going to go on because he was, like, looking at it for a long time and... His wife was like, oh, God, here we go. So she leaves, you know. She's just going to, I'm just going to get out of here before he starts trying to haggle this guy. Anyway, um, it's fun and fun in the art world sometimes that way. Um, I don't know what this has been. I'm just, it's after 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to time lapse the rest. Sorry to be so negative about it, but it's just interesting how things happen. And we'll time lapse like a few minutes. Hopefully I can get some more of this done without this rambling. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut the video here. Um, it's going to take me a while to finish this one. 
Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot more done on it, but um, I'm not even saying the other one was finished. I'm not sure. Um, it adds a lot too with the line detailing. Um, as before, the you know was spray painted on there, which I like spray paint. Don't get me wrong, but I think this with this line detailing is just really see there's before, obviously here. Yeah. And then here's a little bit closer to finished. Um, again, do I put a figure image over it, a figurative image over there? Because um, I generally do pop art. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of question marks, and that's what you do when you make a piece of art. You think about things um, as it's being developed, and if you don't have a production level of the process going on, maybe that's, you know, again, my little voice is, well, you could have a production version. Yeah, well, this isn't production, so I'm just uh, freewheeling through this, and you experiment with things and try to figure out what you want to do with it. And uh, I think that it definitely adds. This is a technique or whatever. It's not that complex of a technique, I understand. Um, but yeah, it adds something to it. I think it makes it more defined and looks more crisp and finished or whatever. Anyway, if you like this video at all, I know it was kind of negative there I'm talking, but that's kind of the real, real, real world of art price negotiation. I mean, for the low level scrubs that are at fifty dollars. Okay, I consider myself at that level. Um, now I've sold a lot of paintings for a lot more money than that, but I'm just telling you some stories. It was some stories of the real world um, art sales and negotiation with people. It's funny how things work. But um, that might sound negative, but it's kind of more realistic than um, trying to be necessarily positive all the time. Um, I don't think it's necessarily negative. It's just more like a real-world, hard, concrete fact about things. I'll tell you the stories that I know about personally. Um, anyway, so uh, I appreciate anybody watching this. Um, anybody watching or sub subbing to my channel, I really appreciate it. I've got 26, and um, I value, value every one of those subscribers. Um, it's super awesome to have that many. Um, trying to build it up. We'll see how much more we can build it up or whatever as it goes on. I have an interest in staying around for a while. So check out the list of videos I've done and uh, hope for some new ones coming up with Sophia Moore. So if you sub to the channel, hit the sub and then hit the bell, of course, and hit the like for if you like this video at all. And if you're interested at all in the content, um, I sure appreciate it. Any kind of uh, support is awesome. Um, if you sub to the channel, it'd be super awesome if you comment which number sub you are. I don't know, just like it's just something that's really fun to me to uh, personally thank whoever subs. So um, it's it's something that's really nice. I think. I mean, I don't know who, a lot of them. I didn't know who they were, and um, it's okay. It doesn't, it's not the end of the world, but it's just kind of it's just kind of fun to have like you know who they are, and I could say thanks a lot. I appreciate you subbing to my channel. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, you know, what is the mantra again? Boy, uh, <laughs> I can't even remember my own mantra. Oh yeah, expand your brain, get out of the block, experience some art today in 2018, even though it's 15 degrees in Columbus, Ohio, you could check out some art channels or whatever, anything that... You know, it does help you expand your brain. So I thank you so much uh, for watching this. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.